Okay, first of all, thank you for the interview. I, I would like from you a, co a general comment on the State of the Union, in particular on the call for the convention that uh, uh, Ursula von der Leyen endorsed. And I would like to know, uh, what do you expect from the Council? Because the Parliament is in the position to sue the Council if they don't, uh, you know, take uh, act and uh, they don't act in that to, to ask, uh, you know, or to examine the convention. Yeah. First of all, this was a highly anticipated State of the Union address. Uh, it covered so many topics that the European Parliament is so broadly united over the Ukraine war, our response, what more we need to do, how we need to focus on education, how we need to continue to make sure that we don't forget our young people and how we need to address our energy crisis. There was a reference which was very much anticipated on the reference to the Conference uh, on the Future of Europe and the Convention. This Parliament has been asking for that particular treaty article to be triggered. We acted immediately and we sent that request to the Commission and the Council. The statement by the Commission today, very welcome. Now we need a simple majority in the Council. I'm going to work to get each and every government, one by one, to look at the demands that the citizens have asked for. The worst thing we could do, you know, is to look away. We cannot ask our citizens to tell us what they expect from us, only for us to say, actually, you know what, we're not going to do anything of that. I have a responsibility as president of this parliament. We all have elections in 2024. I want to be able to tell you, we gave you the resources to have the conference. You've spoken, you've given us specific demands. Now it's up to us to deliver. So I'm going to try to find that landing zone in the council so that we can move. So you will tell them something in October? I will continue to do that like I already did it in June.